The Music Hall with Sonny Tufts, Marilyn Maxwell, John Scott Trotter and his orchestra, the charioteers, the music maids, and Sonny Tufts' special guests, Lena Romai and Tom Brennerman. And here are Sonny Tufts and Marilyn Maxwell. <laughs> But it's great after being out late Walking my baby back home I'm in I'm over meadow and farm Walking my baby back home We go along harmonizing a song Or I'm reciting a poem I'll go by and they give me the eye Walking my baby back home We stop for a while He gives me a smile I snuggle my head to his chair Starting to pack, and that's when I get her powder all over my vest. Then after I kind of straighten his tie, I have to borrow his comb. One kiss, then we continue again, walking, walking my, my baby, baby back, back home. home. Of the dog. So we have to park outside of my door till it's light. She says if I try to kiss her, she'll cry. I dry her tears all through the night. Hand in hand to a barbecue stand, right from my doorway we roam. Each and then it's a pleasure again. Walking Walk my baby, baby. home with, with my baby. baby. Walking my baby back home. Thanks, Marilyn. I'm Sonny Tufts. Now that that's cleaned up, uh, beside Marilyn and me, we have, of course, John Scott Trotter and his orchestra and the charioteers and Yuki and the music maids and men and two guests. Sometimes I wonder what they want with me. Well, the two guests are Miss Lena Romay, a fine Latin American singer, and Tom Brenneman, the hat man from Breakfast at Saudi's. Hey, uh, how are you? I'm, I'm Yuki. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I mean, uh, you trying to ignore me? Can it be done? Now, look, I mean, just because thing is away, that don't mean you can insult me. He understood me. You know, with you around, well, I find it hard to be Yuki. Yeah, with you around, I find it hard to be Sonny. Say, I think we'd better change the subject, huh? Yeah, maybe we'd better. You know, I've heard it's easier to talk about a subject if you can sort of warm up to it. And I can't think of any subject easier to warm up to than Lena Romai. You've all probably heard and seen Lena in pictures and on the radio singing Latin American songs with Xavier Cougat. And here she is, Lena Romay singing Tico Tico. He's the cuckoo in my room. And when he says cuckoo, he means it's time to woo. It's tico time for all the lovers in the club. I've got a heavy day to pay that pay that eight. So tico, tico, tell me, is it getting in? If I'm on time, cuckoo, but if I'm late, woo-woo. The one my heart has gone to, may not want to wait. For just a birdie and a birdie who goes nowhere. He knows of every lover's lane and how to go there. For in affairs of the heart, my tico's terribly smart. He tells me gently, sentimentally at the start. Oh, oh, I hear my little Tico, Tico calling Because the time is right and shades of night are falling I love that not to coo 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 in the clock Tico, 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 Tico,
Cosa que el verde vino muy pintar Es un comar de canario de pardal Mas por favor tire ese bicho dos y leí Porque le acabo comiendo ocupa inteiro Tire ese tipo de la décima Tome a ocupar Tan fácil que que le pone aquí en casa El chapicudo para ver si se conseguía Bota el quince para ver si le comía Bota un gato más cuando le haga capao Sí, cosí, 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 cosí I love that nut so cuckoo, cuckoo in the clock. Tico, 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 They let me be in their beautiful Technicolor picture, Bathing Beauty. Gee, I sure like to see you in Bathing Beauty. <laughs> Sonny, I can see what you mean. And I see what you, I, what you see. <laughs> Pardon me, say, Miss uh, Romay, does singing all these Latin songs here in Hollywood help the good neighbor policy? Well, the men in Hollywood don't want to be good neighbors. Why? They want to move right in. Ah, 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 careful, Lena. We've all got to be careful not to be taken in by all that talk about goodwill. Why? Well, the good won't, believe me. Uh, easy on that philosophical stuff, Ken. Why, well, Lena sings Magic in the Moonlight. Or as Lena sings it in Spanish, Te quiero de Hey, look at me. I'm talking Spanish. <laughs> Cabellos de oro, de dientes de perla, labios de rubí. Dime si me quieres, como yo te adoro, y de mí te acuerdas, como yo de ti. Y a veces escucho una voz divina que vuelto en la brisa parece decir si te quiero mucho, 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 tanto como entonces. Siempre hasta morir. Oh, la, la, la. Papa, 
What's the use of diving? Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Well, the buzzer told the monkey you were choking me. Really sure, hold it out, set you free. The monkey looked the buzzer right dead in the eye. And said, you're sorry, so attached. It sounds like a lie. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Look out, Jack. You're snapping your cap. Ain't no use of diving. What's the use of diving? Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, you're gonna blow your top. Well, the buzzer told the monkey you choking me. It's still a lie. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Do now, Papa, don't you blow your top. Recall. Straighten up and fly right. Sing it to the fall. Straighten up and stay right. Do you some harm. Straighten up and fly right. Do now, Papa, don't you blow You know, every morning when most men are hard at work in the office, there's a character here in Hollywood who takes their wives to breakfast. Not, not satisfied with one or two, this guy feeds them by the hundreds. And he puts on their funny hats and just kicks it around in general at a restaurant called Saudi's. Ladies come from all over the country. Ladies listen all over the country to Breakfast at Saudi's with Tom Brenneman. Uh, let me look at you, Tom. So... <laughs> You're the guy all the ladies go for? Mm -hmm. You're the fellow who's taking Crosby's place. <laughs> well, why did you say that? Well, I didn't realize Frankie was so big. <laughs> Bigger than me. But uh, tell me something about this breakfast at Saudi's, Tom. Well, Sonny, all these ladies come in to eat breakfast, and I take the microphone, and I go around from table to table and talk to them. Get real cozy. <laughs> Sometimes I have as many as 300 women on my hands. That's impossible. No man can handle that many women. No? You ever watch a sailor on a six-hour pass? <laughs> you know, you have to admit, Sonny, this man Brenneman has the right idea. I mean, doing a comedy show at breakfast. Well, what's so good about that? Lays his eggs and serves them immediately. <laughs> With pep. <laughs> uh, say, Tom, they tell me it's that laugh of yours that really gets the women. I mean... Maybe you could teach it to me. I mean, sort of give me a sample, you know. No, 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 Sonny. I'm sorry. Come on, just, no. just one little laugh. No, no, no. No, before I can even work up a titter. <laughs> you know, a, a snicker. I have to see something fantastic. Something really ridiculous. Say, hey, Mr. Branham, I'm Houston. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Play that. <laughs> that, that laugh's all right, but, but from now on, would you mind sitting in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sonny, if you do a good job here for Crosby, I might have you over for my job, meet the ladies at breakfast at Sardi. Well, uh, make me an offer. Uh, I mean, of course, you got to tell me mo more about your show. I mean, what happens? What, what goes? Well, I ask the girls their names, how old they are, and where they live. Mm -hmm. I got improvement already. What's that? Get the phone number. <laughs> Twenty years ago, I would have thought of that. <laughs> oh, isn't it kind of unusual, Tom, to, I mean, serving breakfast to your audience? Well, that breakfast is important, Sonny. You know, I have to keep those women eating. So I'll have a chance to talk. <laughs> now, you pay attention. <laughs> now, you pay attention, and I'll explain how things run. Now, I come out in front of a big audience, and I say, Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Tom. <laughs> Biggest audience I ever had. <laughs> well, what, what happens after that? Well, we give away a wishing ring to a lady who has a lucky number. 
There's a number on every ticket, you know, and I draw a number out of the hat, and I say, has any lady got number 224? Who has 224? Number 224. Oh, that is my number! Hmm, well, isn't that nice? You've won our wishing <laughs> ring. Now, here, you put the ring on your finger, and you make a wish. Oh, but my finger is so little. Hmm. Could we put it on this big, handsome, senor's finger? Uh, who, me? <laughs> uh, see. Now, look right into my eyes, big boy. And make the wish. <laughs> what are you wishing? Are you kidding? <laughs> What's your name? Senorita Romay. And where are you from, Miss Romay? I have traveled all over the Western Hemisphere from Mexico to Brooklyn. How's Mexico? <laughs> Ay, Mexico is la tierra más bonita en el mundo. Y las muchachas son divinas y preciosas. Es muy fácil aprender el español. ¿Por qué no lo practicas conmigo, Sonny Boy? <laughs> How's Brooklyn? <laughs> Sure, and it's fine shape, Mr. Brenham and me, boy. <laughs> well, thank you, Senor Romay. You see, Sonny, that's all there is to it. You, know, you think you can handle it? Oh, that's a sense. Now what? Uh, young lady, what's your name? Senorita Romay, Blackburn Hotel, room 215. Oh. I have nothing to do after 8.30. <laughs> What do I do now, Tom? Wait till after 8.30. <laughs> you know, I think I like your show. Is some more? Oh, yes. Now I try on the funniest looking hat in the house, you see. That's a big moment. Now, let's see. This hat looks pretty good. <laughs> May I have your hat, please? Thank you very much. Now, I'll just put, I'll show you what I mean here, sonny boy. You simply take the hat like this, you see, and you put it on your head. <laughs> Well, wait till I get it on. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> you like that? Yes, now, you see, very good. That's, uh, that's part of the routine. That, uh, when I try on these hats, they look at me as though I'm crazy. What do you do? I look right back as though I'm not. <laughs> well, what comes after the hat routine? Well, I call someone from one of the tables. You... Say, for instance, you at the table with the old ladies. Would you come up here, please, and tell us something about yourself? <laughs> well, here I am. Gee, I sure like to get my hooks on one of them orchids give out. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. We present the orchid to the oldest lady here. Could I lie about my age? <laughs> with all that ev evidence stacked up against you there? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, the old dames get all the breaks. Uh, Don't just have anything for us, uh, chick. See, yeah. I'm available. No, that. Wait a minute, Sonny. That's no way to talk to a young lady. Ah, uh, you keep out of this. <laughs> say, say, uh, is it all right if I uh, say something to my mom? Well, it isn't customary, but this time we'll make an exception. Hey, Ma, put that silverware back on the table. <laughs> hey, uh, how do you end your show, Tom? Oh, I just tell the ladies goodbye, and they tell me goodbye, and then we sing a song. Well, let's see how that works. Okay. Goodbye, ladies. Ah, hit the road. <laughs> we just finished breakfast at Sari's. We finished a little bit slow. We're finishing out of the money. Remember, it's been Crosby's show. Win, place, or show. Thanks for showing us how you uh, serve breakfast at Sardi's, Tom, and here's where we serve you a nice dish, Marilyn Maxwell. Needles, tins, triplets, twins, when a man marries, his trouble begins. When a man dies, his trouble ends. Let's touch something in the wind. Wish I may, wish I might. Get the wishes I'm wishing tonight. A young cadet, blonde or brunette, a Romeo and Sergio Juliet. Wish 
wish I might, wish I may Get the wishes I'm wishing today A lot of boys, a lot of noise And an awful lot of toys I want a date who'll stay out late A brother rat who'll leave me flat Won't break, lost an orchid from New York A raft of capital will be round me Scabs of laughs will hound me And they will cheer For the bell of the ball of the year So hold me close and hug me tight For that's a wish I wish I may I might I wish I may We should send a dozen roses Wish I had a soft clothes. I wish I may. Wish I had a slinky hairdo. I wish I might. Wish my evening dress was there too. I wish I may. I would not get the lights out. I would get the wish I wish too. Wish we didn't have a chaperone. Wish we had a chance to be all alone. We could slip away and tell jokes and drink coke, but we're afraid the park would never condone it. So we.
diary. I'm sure every time I hear an orchestra play, Time Waits for No One, I'll think of Sonny. He's so shy and cute and sweet and big. Last Saturday evening, we went to Dreamland Park. We waited in line 45 minutes before we finally got into the tunnel of love. And when the boat glided into the darkness, Sonny said, Hey, all the guys and girls are, well, they're sort of sitting close together, holding hands. Yes, they are, Sonny. <laughs> you know what I think? What, Sonny? We should have waited to get seats together. <laughs> Here, take my seat. Well, aren't you with a girl? No, I just come in here to forget. <laughs> okay, let's change. There. I guess this is better, huh, honey? <sighs> yes, Sonny. Sonny, what you thinking about? Oh, <laughs> I just wishing that that guard in the back of the boat would look the other way. Why? Well, it's something I think would be fun for us to do, but he might see us. It's pretty dark. Yeah, but, uh, well, maybe I'd better forget about it. Oh, why, Sonny? What is it? Well, uh, you think we could drag our hands in the water? <laughs> why is it, Sonny, that everything's romantic about the tunnel of love except you? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like... Well, you know what I like? What? Privacy. Gee, last week when we were listening to the radio, Sonny, you kissed me. Remember where? Yeah. John Scott Trotter's orchestra, orchestra was playing. And I kissed you right where the two pianos came in. Whoa. <laughs> That's well, John Scott. I'm lucky. I'm going to be back here next week. And I'll be even luckier if you all happen to be listening. She'll look awful silly up here standing talking to myself. <laughs> of course, I won't exactly be alone. There'll be Marilyn Maxwell and John Scott Trotter and the charioteers, Yuki, and the music maids and men and Ken Carpenter and our two guests. Eddie, tell you what I'm going to do, Mars, and Ginny, you know what she's going to do, Sims. <laughs> I kind of think of it. I still don't see what they need me for. But I'll be here, so I'll see you next Thursday, huh? Bye-bye. Forces Radio, sir.